Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. Today on the table, we've got a Smith & Wesson Executive Barlow. We're going to be taking a look at this fine knife. Uh, but this knife has a little bit of a backstory. You see, I received this knife from CB Tactical in that big old box of knives. If you go back and check out that video, you can see everything that he sent to me. And uh, so, once again, CB, thank you so much. And everyone, I'll just remind you, go and uh, give CB a sub. He's got some terrific content, and he's a wonderful member of the community. So, I received this from CB Tactical. Now, when CB first told me he was going to send me a box of knives, you know, I was flabbergasted for one. And two, I told him, I says, I'm going to share these knives. It was, it'd be wrong of me to hoard these knives. So the other day on RJ's Live, every Sunday at 12.30 Central, 10.30 Pacific, uh, RJ was celebrating 52 weeks of his live show. So he's been on there for a year. So congratulations to RJ. And uh, please join us on Sundays for that live. Uh, we just have a, a whole bunch of fun. There's a whole panel of guests. And I am very blessed to be able to be one of the panel members on that show. So anyway, RJ gave a uh, giveaway, and uh, Patty from Patty's Potato Peelers, he gave a knife away for the European viewers, and I decided I was going to give away this Smith & Wesson. So we, uh, you know, had the drawing or had the, the numbers guessing game, and John from J.O. Ventures. Yes, John won this knife, so this knife will be going to John. But uh, just look at all the different channel cooperations that we got going on here. It's a fine time to be a member of this knife community. So anyway, what we have here, again, the Smith & Wesson Executive Barlow. And it comes in this box here, Smith & Wesson, professional quality tools. And you got your cancer warning. Thank you, RJ. Um, yeah, California. There it is. Potentially dangerous, RJ. <laughs> anyway, let's see here. Executive Barlow wood handle. And the model number is 1179950. So, yep, yeah, there's your box. Inside the box came a little sheet here, sheath, sheet here with some warnings on it about, you know, sharp edge. So be careful with your knife. Junior needs to read these warnings. So this one has the wood handle, and it's uh, rosewood. Now, in researching this knife, I see there's a lot of them out there that come in G10 uh, handle material. The wood grain one seems to be just a little bit more expensive than the G10 model. And I was finding the ones with G10 somewhere around $20 online in the stores. And this one was, I don't know, around 25 it seemed like. So do your own research, search around, find your best deal. So you got the Smith & Wesson uh, name and logo stamped in there. And then this uh, unique take on a modern Barlow. Got I, I, what I believe to be stainless steel bolsters here. Got those nice little uh, dis like chevron designs in it. Adjustable pivot. Uh, this knife is assisted opening, and it opens with the flipper tab, and it opens very nicely, and you know me in flipper tabs, I sometimes struggle with them, but with this being assisted opening, it is very easy to open. Snaps right out there. So there's your blade with Smith & Wesson on it, printed on it, and on the pile side here, it says, let me get it to focus in there good. Executive. Made in China. Oh, well, that's a some sort of a model number up there. There we go, that's better. Get it up here a little closer. But this knife is made in China. Uh, it is a liner lock, as you can see. But it has very good action. I've not put any oil on it. And it just pops right out there very nicely.
Take a look at the pocket clip here. This is tip down, carry, and the pocket clip is not reversible. And again, they like their brand name because they got Smith & Wesson there on the clip. But I think they did a really good job. It's a very elegant design. I can see why they call it, you know, executive. The rosewood is very pretty. So just all in all, a very fine knife. I did notice that these uh, handles will come off, it looks like. I guess you could take them off and clean underneath if you wanted to. Does have open construction. And we'll talk about this blade here. It is a sheep's foot blade. And the steel they use in this is 8CR13 MOV. And the blade is 2.75 inches long. And it has a satin finish. And it is hollow ground. Take a look at it that way. So I think Smith & Wesson has done a really good job on, you know, doing a modern take on these knives. Show you once again here. Yes. You know what? Let me grab another Barlow here real quick. Now, a lot of people like a single-bladed Barlow, but here is one of the more traditional Barlow designs. I did a cleanup video on this one, if you'll remember. Whoa, we got us some oil on here still. Hang on. So here's an old traditional style. Cutmaster Barlow. And this is kind of what we think of as Barlow knives. This pattern, this style, this style of bolsters. So we'll just kind of put them side by side here. And you can see the executive Barlow is just a little bit longer and bigger than what we think of as a traditional Barlow. There's kind of a width comparison. Of course, this again has two blades. This has a single blade. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Is this the kind of knife that you might be interested in buying? Again, I like it because it's assisted opening. It is very easy to open. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this review and... Once again, thank you CB Tactical for sending me this knife. And uh, I'll be putting a link or, or uh, an end screen there with a, with a playlist there. Just click on that playlist and check out a bunch of my other traditional slip joint knives. And until next time, have a very delightful day.